Hello everyone, Fed here, and welcome back to another command block tutorial video, and in today's video I'm showing you guys how to build a working sliding glass door with sound effects. Yes, there's a little chime when you enter it, and a little piston will go off as well, so it sounds like the door is actually moving. So let's go ahead and check out this door really quickly, and then we can go over a few things. Uh, we can make this door a lot more simple, but let's go ahead and check this thing out. So we can just walk through it, do do. <laughs> the door opens, and then the door closes behind us. Let's go ahead and do it one more time. Boop, the door opens up, and the door closes closes now this thing could be a lot easier it's already super easy to build but i made it so as you can see we have different colored glass panes right here and i wanted to make it look like it was actually opening up so these push over here and these will disappear so you see boop and now we have the white stained glass well yeah right <laughs> stained glass panes we have the white stained glass panes on the sides now and then when we get off they go back to the middle now you don't have to have that and we can make it a lot smaller all you really need is two command blocks to make this thing work so so let's go ahead and jump right into this tutorial tutorial guys all right guys so as always when we're starting off one of these command block tutorials what we want to do is press right on our d-pad and we're going to enter in give your username command block so forward slash give then your username mine is fedex 2692 and then i'm going to go ahead and type out command under score under slash blah, blah blah block and there we go now we have ourselves a command block because that's how we're going to be making all of this good stuff work it's very very easy so what we're going to do is first just find a nice little pretty much a four gap area from where we're putting this door now these doors are really good for you know convenience stores super mart so if you're a city builder or maybe you just want sliding glass doors and anything this is going to be perfect for you so like i said we're going to find out a nice little four area so let's just take out a random block just so we could see where we want it to go so i'm just going to take out some dark oak why not and this is where i want my door to go these four blocks is where i want this door to go and then i'm going to make mine only three high you can make yours higher if you want to but i'm going to keep mine at a three high gap like that so now what we're going to do is just turn on our positioning on console so we can see our coordinates so i'm going to go over game and then switch over my cheat coordinates over so now i could see on my top left hand corner the position of my character so to get things started off we have to find the position of these two blocks right here so we're going to break these two blocks so our first position i'm going to go off the left hand side i highly recommend just following along mine is negative 31 4 107 yours is going to be different so just make sure you have notepad open up on your computer or pull out a pen and paper and just write down your coordinates mine is negative 31 space four space 107 so like i said make sure you write down your coordinates yours are going to be different of course just write down those three coordinates and now we got to find the one over here on the right hand side now mine's going to be three blocks tall i'm making my door three blocks tall so if you want to make yours two you can make it two four or five make it as tall as you want it really doesn't matter but i'm going to make mine three so as you see the first one is four so i'm going to go up three blocks so four five and six so i just went up three blocks there i went from four to six so four five six that's three and now i'm going to go ahead and write down that coordinate as well so negative 31 6 and 106 boom there we have it we now have our coordinates for our actual door so i'm gonna go ahead and just get rid of that right there now we're gonna take out our command blocks and you can basically put this pretty much wherever you want i highly recommend just putting it right under the door it'll make your life a lot easier so i'm just gonna dig out a pretty much just a two by three area right underneath my door actually it's going to be a three by four area what am i talking about <laughs> so i'm just going to dig right here underneath my door i'm going to place my command blocks right underneath my door so i don't take up any other space because there's no point in putting it anywhere else there's really no point so there we go that's where my door is going to be going so i'm going to first start off by placing down a command block right here and we're not going to touch that command block just yet and then we're also going to take out a redstone comparator so go ahead and take out a redstone comparator and face a redstone comparator coming out of that command block going to the left hand side like that and then we're going to place down our next command block right off the side of that comparator now this is where it's going to start to work all right guys so now it's time to input some commands into our command block so the command block that our comparator is going into we're going to go over to it go into the command input section and we're going to type in fill space and then write down your two coordinates that we typed out before so my first number remember our first do your first coordinate first and then your second one so my first one is negative 31 4 1 0 7 that's my first coordinate and i'm going to press space and put in our second coordinate so it's negative 31 6 1 0 6 and that's going to be my second coordinate and then we're going to press space and then put in air and that what that's going to do is change whatever's in that area to an air block letting us have pretty much walk through the door so if i just fill this in with let's say dark oak real quick boop 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 and then we go ahead and pull out a button or anything just to send power to that command block right there it'll turn all of this into air so bloop 
and as you can see it is completely gone and we can walk right through it so any blocks in that radius that we just put in there is going to turn to air next up we're going to set it up so the glass panes go back once it's done filling with air so right off of this command block we're gonna go ahead and pull out a redstone torch so go ahead and take out a redstone torch inside your inventory there it is boop and we're gonna go into sneak and or crouch mode and we're gonna place our redstone torch right off the side of our block like that then what we're going to do is right underneath it, we're going to break this block, place another command block right down there. And we're basically going to write out the same coordinates. And then at the end, instead of putting air, we're just going to put glass panes. And that's in case you want to just make the easy one and then you'll be done. You're pretty much done if you want to stop here. But we're going to take the same coordinate we just wrote down here and put it in this one. So just take your coordinates, type in fill, then put in your coordinates. Mine is negative. Come on. <laughs> I can't see my uh, keyboard because of, of the mics in the way. So negative 31, 4, 1, 0, 7. Space. Then my second coordinate is negative 31, 6, 1, 0, 6. And then at the end, instead of writing an air, I'm going to put in glass underscore pane. Now, this is for people that want to stop right here. If you want to make a super simple door, guys, and you don't care about how it looks, then this is pretty much going to make it so your door is completely done. So watch. If I just send power to, let me go ahead and put a button right on it. So there we go. So if I send power to this, boop, our glass panes are back. So let me go ahead and put some blocks right here real quick. So, you know, our door is here. And then when I click it, it opens up, closes, opens up, closes. So if you want to stop there, you can now how we set it up so we don't have to pretty much hit a button or a pressure plate is where this command block comes into place right here. So next up, you're going to find this coordinate, which we already have written down. If you remember, we already have this coordinate written down. It's my negative 31 for 107. That's our first coordinate we ever wrote down. So that's all you need. So go into this command block that we placed down first in the beginning. Go over to the command input and we're going to write this out. So test for space and then put in the at symbol p so for nearest player test for nearest player and then we're going to go ahead and put in a bracket and now we're going to type x we're going to do our xyz and that's going to be our first coordinate we wrote down so it's going to be x equals negative 31 then we're going to put a comma and then we're going to put y equals four of course yours is different whatever your coordinate is make sure you're putting in your coordinate not mine comma and then z equals one zero seven comma and then we're going to put in r this is going to be the radius it detects us i like to put mine at three you could put it less if you want to but i'm going to put r equals three and that's going to be the radius of it and then set it off with a bracket at the end so test for player x equals negative 31 y equals 4 z equals 107 that's my x y and z and then the radius of it is going to be three and then that's it now, before we leave our command block, we got to go over to the block type and we're going to change it to a repeat block. And next up, we're going to go down to where it says redstone and we're going to put always active. That means this block will always be active. It will always test for a player at that coordinate in a three radius coordinate that will activate that redstone compare down there. See, and our door already opened. So it's on a three radius. So when I get right into that three block radius, it will just open up the door for us. As you see, boop, I'll just keep going. Boop, it'll activate it. It'll activate it. So that's if you if you don't want to do the rest of the door, like if you don't want the stained glass panes and you don't care about that, you could stop right now, guys. So, you know, all we have to do now is just fill in our door on this side. Actually, let me go get these blocks, too. <laughs> I'm going to make it look exactly like that one. So let's go a few blocks up like that. Bring this over. This is just for, for people that want to stop now. They don't care about having it look like the glass panes are actually moving over. So there we go. Boop. And opens up. And it closes. Opens up and it closes now i'm going to show you how to make that stained glass one where it actually looks like it's completely sliding open and then closing up so we're gonna go back into this command block right down here that fill command block that said glass pane on it we're gonna go ahead and delete glass pane once you have deleted glass pane we're just gonna type in stained glass pane instead so stained underscore glass underscore pain now if you want to change the colors i have a link to that minecraft ids in the description below you could change the glass paint colors to whatever you want you know if you put one it will change it to like orange two will change it to red but we just want to keep it white so i'm just going to put in stained glass paint so now instead of when it comes back it's going to come back as stained glass panes now all we have to do is fill out these two areas to turn those into stained glass panes so to make these two sides into stained glass panes all you have to do is just find the coordinates for it so come right into the corner right here make sure you are leveled with it make sure you're right next to it like that and we're just going to type out that first coordinate 
for this side of r so just go back to your notepad or your pen and paper and write down your coordinates mine's going to be negative 31 4 1 0 8 make sure you write that down and then we're just going to go up to the third block right up here so go all the way up until you reach that third block like that so it should only be six it should only go up three blocks so mine goes from four to six that's three blocks four five six that's three and then we're going to write down that coordinate as well so now i'm going to write out a negative 31 six and one zero eight now we're going to take those two coordinates and plug it into a new command block and we're going to fill this section up with stained glass panes instead so what we're going to do is just place a command block right next to this command block right next to it go inside of it and just type out fill and we're going to type in those two new coordinates we just put in so fill negative 31 4 108 those are my my new coordinate and then space negative 31 6 108 and then we're going to go ahead and put in stained underscore glass underscore pain and there we go so now it should turn those side ones into stained glass pane so boop and boom as you see now it looks like stained glass panes however when we come back it's going to stay stained glass panes but don't worry we'll get to that later so now we're going to find out this one over here as well so it's going to be negative 31 4 105 go back over to your notepad write down those coordinates make sure you're doing this so yours are going to be different negative 31 4 1 0 5 and then we're just going to go up three blocks and write down those ones as well so we want to go up three one two and three so negative 31 6 105 and then we're just going to take those two coordinates come down here place our command block on this side now go inside of it and just type in those two new coordinates with fill so fill two new coordinates so negative 31 4 1 0 5 negative 31 6 1 0 5 and then just stained underscore glass underscore pane and there we have it so now that one's going to turn to a glass pane as well so boop glass two glass panes and then close so now all we have to do is just take those two coordinates how we got this side and this side and we're just going to take them and just turn it to glass panes over here so basically we're just going to place a command block right next to this redstone torch over here go inside of it and type out fill we're just going to take those two coordinates we just got so fill negative 31 4 1 0 8 negative 31 6 1 0 8 and then we're going to put in instead of stained glass panes we're going to put glass underscore pane and that will change it back to a glass pane like this when it closes so boop see opens closes and there we go so now we just got to do the same thing on this side as well so put another command block next to that redstone torch go inside of it and then we're just going to type out fill then we're going to type in the coordinate negative 31 4 1 0 5 negative 31 6 1 0 5 and then just type out glass underscore pain and there we have it that's the entire door guys completely done so closes opens up closes opens up so now what we want to do is set it so we have like a nice little note block chime if you would like to if you don't want any chimes or the sound of a piston going off you're completely done but to do that it's very simple all you have to do is come off of any one of the sides of this uh command block right here this repeated one place down another redstone comparator and then we're just going to dig out a few blocks right in front of it because we're gonna have to come down one because you're going to need the entire uh entire small area down here <laughs> and then we're gonna have to change this to grass down here as well because we want those note block chimes to be piano sounds so i'm just gonna change these up to grass right here there we go so right in front of this comparator we're just gonna place a block and then right underneath it we're gonna place a piece of redstone so let's go ahead and take out some redstone there we go place a piece of redstone right underneath it and then coming out of that redstone we're gonna place in our first note block so let's go ahead and pull out a note block real quick there it is note block and we're going to make the first note block chime. I'm going to make mine 20. You, I like to go from low to high pitch. You can make whatever sound you want to, but I'm going to go from a low to high pitch. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And then my second one is going to be 24, but we're going to need a repeater for this section. So pull out a repeater. And then coming out of this note block, any side you want to, just come out of the note block, set a repeater to two ticks, three ticks, whatever you want to set it to. And I'm going to set down another grass block down here, place down my note block. I'm going to set this one to 24. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So now when we go up to our door, see, it makes a nice little chime when the door opens up. 
Now, if you want a piston to go off as well, so it sounds like the doors are actually sliding open, all you have to do is just take out a piston and place it right off the side of this block right here. So I like to place it facing inwards towards my comparator like that. And there you guys go. So, see, now it has sounds. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> boop, boop. But there you guys have it. That's how you build a sliding glass door with command blocks inside of Minecraft. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't, subscribe, stay tuned with my newest redstone and command block tutorials. All right, guys. Ding, ding. <laughs> Peace.